Hi, Terry Schanefeld here for UAB School of Medicine. In this short video, I wanted to show you how to use the Access Federated Search Engine. First, let's start where to find it for the UAB folks. It's in two places. One, if you go to Lister Hill Library and go under Databases, you'll see that it's down here called Access Federated Search Engine. You can click on it and get to it from there. If you're in the Evidence-Based Medicine course, it's in the Diagnosis um, section under Acquire, and you can click on this link and get to it also. When you click on it, you'll land on the McMaster homepage for the Access Federated Search Engine. You'll first have to register for an account. So all you have to do is put in your name, um, choose who you are. I would pick MD undergraduate for the students. And then in this area down here for alert settings, this is how you can get some articles of interest sent to you via email um, pretty much daily, or you can change the frequency, get it every few days or weekly. I tend to get them daily. It sends me about two to three articles a day um, relevant to the areas that I chose. Finally, you'll use a username and password, click I agree, and then register. So let me sign in since I already have an account. And once you sign in, you get to a pretty simple search page. Now, one thing importantly for UAB folks is to, under this resource portal, click on it and make sure you list the University of Alabama at Birmingham. What this does is when you do a search, it will give you resources that UAB has full text access to and databases that we have access to. If you search it under one of the other portals, you're going to get lots of results, but we may not have access to some of those um, uh, resources. So I'm just going to type in something simple like pulmonary embolism. And the really neat thing about this search engine is that it searches following the Haynes 6S model and lists the uh, resources available to potentially answer your question um, based on the 6S model of summaries, synopses, syntheses, etc. So it's very nicely organized. Um, you'll know to begin at the very top of the pyramid first to try to answer your question. Um, and it gives you a nice, organized, um, institution-specific um, results to answer your clinical question.